Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to let you guys know when is the best time to visit Universal Orlando. That's with less crowds and little to no wait times for your favorite attractions. I got you covered all in today's video. I know we all want 100% perfect vacation when we go to Universal Orlando, and there's no such thing as 100%, but we can try to inch it closer to 100%. So in today's video, I'm gonna let you guys know when to visit Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios Florida on your next vacation to enjoy both of those theme parks. First is late September into early November. Now the reason why I say late September is because late September is basically when kids are already in school in other states and in the state of Florida. Basically kids go back in the state of Florida around August and in other states they start around early September. So late September is a very good time during the week to plan your vacation if you have availability and depending on who's watching this, late September during the week times to go to Universal, like Monday through Friday, is the best time to go with less crowds and little to no wait times. You're talking about Hagrid's or Velocicoaster. Velocicoaster is gonna be like a 25 to 30 minutes and Hagrid's can be about 45 to 50 minutes and that is basically like no wait times for those popular attractions at Universal. Now I did say early November is because that is after Halloween Horror Nights and the, and, and the hype of Halloween Horror Nights and usually when you go during the week of early November, there is nobody there either. So you have again, less crowds for that time and no wait times for your favorite attractions and hardly no rain in the forecast in early November. September you're probably going to get some rain but in in early November you're not going to get rain whatsoever unless there's a cold front moving through. So those are your two months late September and early November and of course I said early November because you want to skip out on the Thanksgiving crowds and into the next month December which you know it's going to be crowded there at Universal Orlando. I'm going to talk about mid-January into early February. Now, usually um, after New Year's, after the holidays, a week or two um, into New Year's in the month of January, it's still very, very packed at the theme parks. People plan their vacations after Christmas and after New Year's. So those two to three weeks into January are still tend to be very, very crowded at Universal. So mid-January, like the last two weeks of January, into early February, it's very, it's less crowded and because everybody's going back to school and everybody is done with winter vacation throughout the state of Florida and the other states. So a lot of people don't really have the time to plan their vacations mid-January into early February and a lot of people already went on vacation during December and early January because of the holiday season. So yes, that is another time to visit Universal Orlando with less crowds, which is mid-January into early February, trust me. There are no crowds there and again it's best to go during the week time because during the weekends the locals in Orange County that live around Universal or live in the state of Florida they like to drive up or drive around and go to the theme parks and enjoy Volcano Bay, Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios Florida. You want to make sure that everything that I'm saying right now if that's late September to early November or mid-January into early February that you are visiting from Monday through Friday or even better, Monday through Thursday during the week time. That is the best time to find less crowds and little to no wait times for your next Universal Orlando vacation. This is the best tip and that's why I saved it for the end of the video is because if you are staying at a Universal Orlando hotel during the times that I said in this video, which is late September through early November and mid January to early February, the Universal hotels are very, very cheap and like all of them, even Hard Rock, um, and Portofino Bay can go down to like $300. And usually those are the premier hotels with unlimited express, Hard Rock, Portofino, and Royal Pacific. They can be, they can range from like three all the way to six to $700 a night. So sometimes they stay at the $300 a night for those seasons because there's no, there's no, it's less crowded and hardly anybody is there. And there's no demand for the hotels. There's no seasons, there, there's no holiday season going on. It's just very, very low season and that's why it's the best time to visit Universal Orlando during the week and stay at Universal Orlando Hotel because it's cheaper and you have less crowds and less wait times for your favorite attractions or attractions you haven't even ridden yet like Velocicoaster, Hagrid's, hopping on the Hogwarts Express, going to Hogsmeade, to Diagon Alley. So you're going to have a better experience late September to early November 
and mid-January into early February. Let me know if this video has helped you out in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you guys don't want to miss more tips and tricks for your Universal Orlando vacation. So with that being said, go live life, do what you love, and remember, always follow your dreams. Bye guys.